Diabetes insipidus is a rare hormonal condition in which the kidneys are unable to conserve water and is characterized by the patient feeling excessive thirst and excreting large volumes of dilute urine. The result is high serum osmolarity and low urine osmolarity. Diabetes insipidus has two forms, central and nephrogenic. Central DI is associated with a problem with the production of antidiuretic hormone, ADH. Nephrogenic diabetes insipidus is associated with a problem with the kidney's response to ADH. We need to find the answer choice that will help differentiate central from nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. Choice A, serum osmolarity is incorrect because in both conditions the serum osmolarity would be high and would not help differentiate the two. Choice B, urine osmolarity is also incorrect because in both conditions the urine would be very dilute and the urine osmolarity would therefore be low. Choice C. Change in urine osmolarity after water deprivation will also not help differentiate the two conditions because there would be no change in urine osmolarity in both after water deprivation. In normal individuals who undergo water deprivation, we would expect an increase in urine osmolarity as the body compensates by releasing more ADH. Choice D. Change in urine osmolarity with vasopressin administration is the correct answer. Vasopressin in patients with central diabetes insipidus would increase the urine osmolarity, but would not have an effect in patients with nephrogenic diabetes insipidus.